In 2015, the UN agreed to a set of 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, with 169 associated targets. Target 3.3 commits countries to end the epidemics of communicable diseases, HIV, AIDS, malaria, and TB. Target 3.4 aims to reduce deaths from non-communicable diseases in people younger than 70 by one-third. In Africa, almost as many people die from HIV, AIDS, malaria, and TB as the entire rest of the world combined. But Africa also suffers from a large number of premature deaths from non-communicable disease, like cancer and diabetes. The continent faces a future with a double burden of disease. The African Futures Project looked at forecasts on the burden of disease in Africa. On the current trajectory, only seven African countries are likely to meet the target for communicable diseases, and no African country is expected to meet the non-communicable disease target. We used the International Futures Forecasting System to explore what benefits to human development policymakers can expect from focusing on either communicable or non-communicable diseases. The first scenario examines the benefits of eliminating HIV, AIDS, malaria and TB in accordance with SDG 3.3. Achieving SDG 3.3 improves life expectancy by five years and reduces infant mortality by nearly 50% by 2030 relative to Africa's expected development trajectory. Achieving SDG 3.3 also adds 33 million people to the working age population. However, eliminating communicable diseases will accelerate the transition of the disease burden to non-communicable diseases by about 10 years and could leave national health systems unprepared to address more patients suffering from non-communicable diseases. In the second scenario, where Africa achieves SDG 3.4, Infant mortality is also reduced and life expectancy is improved, but more slowly. The major benefit from achieving SDG 3.4 is that the working population is likely to live even longer than forecast in the communicable disease scenario. This happens because life expectancy in Africa is currently less than the typical retirement age of 65. In both scenarios, countries with the highest prevalence of each disease type see the most benefits. But those same countries also see the most disruptive impact on their population structure. An integrated approach to national health systems should therefore be a high priority for African countries. The African Futures Project is a collaboration between the Institute for Security Studies and the Frederick S. Pardee Center for International Futures. We promote the exploration and identification of trends and policy interventions to advance human development and sustainability.